This video will show you how to find the details you need to cite your CIA World Factbook source. First, let's quickly review the components that are necessary for a modern language association or MLA style citation. Normally, you'd be looking for the author's last name and first name, then the title of the article, which you place inside quotation marks, then the website name, which is in italics to distinguish it from the article title, the publisher, the organization that put that information out there on the web, the date this, this information was published or last updated, and the URL so that you can find it again when you need it, and so that your audience and instructor can find that information also. Now, the CIA World Factbook does not include the names of any individual authors. So, in MLA style, what you do is you simply skip that component and you start with the next one, the title of the article. So, let's take a look. Here's a World Factbook page. My example is Kazakhstan. And so the title of the article is the title that brings the reader, the audience, the instructor directly to the information on the country I'm researching, Kazakhstan. And there it is. Notice that the format is to show the continent or the area of the world where this country is located. You should use the full title, therefore. So where I'm saying Central Asia, Kazakhstan, you might be saying North America, Mexico, or South America, Peru. So that information is going to appear in my component list inside quotation marks as the title of the article. Next, I'm looking for the website name. The CIA World Factbook. The CIA has many publications. The World Factbook is just one. And so the, the name of the source within which you found the article is the World Factbook, which is published by the Central Intelligence Agency. So let's take a look at those components. Again, the website name is going to be in italics to distinguish it from the title, followed by a comma before the name of the publisher, which is in plain font, followed by another comma. And now we're looking for the date this information was published. Let's go back to the website and take a look. Notice that the date is located right beneath the title that you looked for earlier. The format of the date is standard American English, month, day, and year. That needs to change in MLA style. And so the format is going to be day, month, year. And lastly, of course, you're going to grab that URL so that you can get back to that website anytime you want, and that's located at the very top of the web page. So we'll add that in. Now, what's the format for the entry that you'll be putting into your Works Cited list? Let's take a look here. It follows the order that we've gathered the information. So it's the title of the article, followed by the website name, the publisher, the date, and then the URL. And here's the example from Kazakhstan. You're going to follow that same format and notice that I have used a hanging indent for this information so that I start at the left margin and any additional lines are indented. And that's the citation from the World Factbook. If you have questions or need assistance, contact the library.